Over the next 10 minutes, I will show you how to lay out a 90 degree rectangular elbow. First, we need to calculate cut sizes. The cheeks on this elbow will require six and a quarter by six and a quarter, the heel 12 by six, and the throat four by six. Let's start with drafting the cheek six and a quarter by six and a quarter. Again, sorry for the page being too low. At the moment, you will notice that I am adding half and half for S and drives on both ends. This will be the quarter inch that goes into the Pittsburgh pocket. The next step is to add the duct opening dimensions on each end of the cheek. Be careful where you are adding the quarter inch for the throat. You want to add the quarter inch on the outside of the duct dimension not the inside. Make sure the measurement between E and D is four inches. So let's begin darkening the object lines. Cheek pattern complete. We said earlier that the heel pattern will require a rectangle 12 by 6. Now let's go ahead and mark the 1 inch allowance for the Pittsburgh lock. Now we are going to add the half and half for the S and drives on each end. I am now marking the center of the heel where it will be notched and bent. Let's start darkening the object lines.
Heel pattern is now complete. For the throat, we will need a rectangle 4x6. Let's add the half and half connectors. On both ends for the yes and drives. Add one inch for Pittsburgh's. notching the center of the throat. If you notice, we are using the 1 8 1 8 1 8 method. And now you can start darkening your object lines. Throat pattern is now complete. 